Welcome to Conversations Live. For more than a decade, we've brought you the best in books, entertainment, celebrity interviews, and current events. When the movers and shakers of the world have something to say to you, they say it to us first. Now celebrating 17 years of broadcasting success, here's your host, Cyrus Webb. And welcome back, everyone, to Conversations Live. I'm your host, Cyrus Webb. Glad you all could join us once again, both for our radio audience in the South and our online audience tuning in through iHeartRadio. We're glad you all could be with us as well. A lot of people right now focused on the holiday season, but one thing you all do not want to forget is that Medicare annual enrollment is going on right now, and the deadline is coming up really soon. And some important decisions need to be made, not just when it comes to your health, but also maybe even for your wallet as well. Here you fill you guys in on the upcoming deadline and what you guys should be looking out for. We're excited to welcome Rick Dunlap of United Healthcare Medicare and Retirement to give you guys some great tips that I think you can use for yourself as well as share with your family and friends. Rick, thank you so much for the time. Really appreciate it. Hey, thank you much, uh, Cyrus. Really appreciate the time. Appreciate it. Well, look, I, as I said, a lot of people are kind of <laughs> distracted a little bit because the holidays are coming up and the season is here, but the annual enrollment deadline is coming up soon. So if you don't mind, let our audience know when the deadline is, Rick, and, and why it's so important for them to make sure they don't miss it. Well, the, the, that's a great question. The annual open enrollment period extends from October 15th to December the 7th, and so it's that one time each year where um, Medicare beneficiaries across the United States have an opportunity to kind of tune up their benefits and look for the, the, the great new opportunities that are out there and look for those things that are going to match their uh, health care uh, goals as well as their financial circumstances. And you know what? If they don't act by December the 7th, they run the risk of uh, being locked into the same same plan and benefit design for another year. Yeah, and that's such a good point. We've been so pleased to have United Healthcare come on the program and share with us the importance of not only those who are newly looking to enroll, but also those who may have current plans why they should be able to use this time to be able um, to look to see if there's a better plan for them. So what are the things that they should be looking out for, Rick, when it comes to considering a Medicare plan for themselves? Well, I always ask folks to uh, take, a, take, a, <clears throat> excuse me, take a deep breath and, and, and make a list. You know, what you want to do is make a list of, you know, what your health care priorities are and what that includes is who's your health care team. So that would be the, 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 your, your primary care physician, the specialists that you see, you know, hospitals that you may access and pharmacies and such. Um, and, then, and then what you want to do is make a list of medications you're currently taking, the things that you might take in the future, and you want to compare that. You want to compare that to your current plan. And even if it's a good match, what you want to do is check the market, you know, and, and, and shop around a little bit because every year plans change. Things get, you know, there's great new options out there that, that you just really don't want to miss because you want to make sure that you're maximizing, you know, your, uh, your, your expenditure opportunity. Yeah, really good point. Rick, before this year, I, I helped to uh, oversee my mom and her affairs. And before this year, we'd never even heard of telehealth care. Is that one of the things that our audience should be on the lookout for when they're looking at the different plans, especially when it comes to situations like we're in with the pandemic, to see what plans may even cover that? You know what, Cyrus, I'm glad you brought that up because the pandemic has had a profound impact on healthcare across the United States. And so we've seen, you know, some very concerning reports about people who are delaying or putting off care because, you know, they're just, they're scared and, and they're concerned. And so what we've done at United Healthcare is we've, you know, um, created uh, access to 850,000 uh, physicians and, and practitioners across the United States, whether you're carrying an HMO or a PPO card. And as you're pointing out with the financials, sometimes the financials can be a barrier. So we're bringing you uh, telehealth at no cost, along with numerous other preventive uh, options, such as labs or routine eye exams, vision exams, cardiac rehab. Yeah. So we, we, what we're doing is trying to reduce those financial barriers and create more access, and especially around telehealth, because telehealth has been um, very, very, very popular lately because it's a, a very safe and convenient way to access care from the convenience of your home. Yeah, I'm glad you you uh, honed in on affordability, and of course finances are always an issue, Rick. One of the things we hear a lot about, especially watching these commercials on television, is Medicare Advantage. Would you mind telling our audience what that is and and why those plans seem to be popular? Well, that's I'm glad you brought that up. So Medicare Advantage has grown in popularity at just an amazing rate. It's grown nine percent this year, and more, almost forty percent of Medicare beneficiaries across the country, you know, have uh, opted in for Medicare Advantage, and they do that because original Medicare only covers about eighty percent of your total expenses, and 
everything else is pretty pretty variable. But with Medicare Advantage, what you get is you get uh, you know you get fixed copays and you have an annual out of pocket limit, so that you know should you have a tough year from a health perspective, you're you're protected. You know from you know the, the you know some extreme financial consequences that don't exist with original Medicare. But Cyrus, one of the reasons I feel people probably opt in as much as anything is all the added benefits. They love the dental, the vision, the hearing benefits. Renew Active, the United Healthcare is Renew Active, which uh, gives them access to the largest network uh, of, of gyms and athletic centers across the United States. And for folks who are a little concerned about getting out in this time, which you could be, there are thousands of online videos that you can uh, exercise from the convenience of your own home. So it's really um, your way of having all of your health care bundled into one simple convenient ID card and one relationship. Wow. What a great thing. A lot of information for our audience out there. And I want to let you guys know that one of the things that United Healthcare has done is they have a great website for you guys to go to. You can head over to UHCMedicareHealthPlans.com. Again, it's UHCMedicareHealthPlans.com. For those joining us online through iHeartRadio, we are linking that up for you guys. All you have to do is put in your zip code, start looking at plans to get started. And again, our guest for this segment has been Rick Dunlap of United Healthcare, Medicare, and Retire- Retirement. Rick, really appreciate this information, really valuable for us. And and it goes without saying, you're welcome back here anytime. Hey, Cyrus, thank you, and thank you to your listeners and what you're doing to help educate them. Hey, the pleasure is definitely all mine. Looking forward to our next conversation. And we thank you, our audience, for tuning in to another great segment of Conversations Live. Until next time, I'm your host, Cyrus Webb, saying, as always, enjoy your day, enjoy your life, enjoy your world. Thank you all for choosing Conversations Live. Now let's go make today amazing. 